A farmer in southern India shows us his plantation. He has 5,000 square meters of banana trees, thanks largely to the work of Professor Yuen Ravi Kumar. Because the soil here isn't really suitable for growing crops, he advises farmers to add biochar to the ground. Very sandy soil. It's sandy soil. Uh, sand it. Sandy, loamy soil. Yeah. So it doesn't hold water. No water, water. water. So uh, apply by applying this biochar, the water will. The dark by mixture by. seen here on the right improves so water retention in the ground. The water is held at the top. At the top. Otherwise, you are losing, all the, losing water. all the water. It's all going. And in a boon for farmers, they can produce the biochar themselves from agricultural waste. In the past, the dry stalks were simply incinerated. But now, a few kilometers away, root wood is being turned into charcoal. The process is almost finished. This young man is literally working on glowing embers. The sand has to be removed so that the embers can be extinguished. What we are witnessing is the end of the process of charcoal production. Ten days back, they would have piled up the wood we saw there, covered it with soil and set it on fire and moist on the top so that the fire can be contained inside and very limited oxygen is there. Put it back. Put it back. Now the work has to be done fast so the charcoal won't burn. Although the smoke and steam make it seem otherwise, far less harmful greenhouse gas is generated than if the biomass had simply decomposed. That's because the charcoal still contains about half the original carbon and retains it as long as the charcoal doesn't end up being used for fuel. In the first quality, tandoori, tandoori. Professor Ravi Kumar would rather mix the charcoal into the soil of southern India because conditions are becoming increasingly arid there. He also advises a local organization called SCAD, which helps small-scale farmers. Various types of fertilizer are investigated in the group's laboratory. Biochar has proved to be one of the best. It has a porous structure, which enables it to hold water and minerals, which are vital for plant life. The biochar applied uh, plants has a very vigorous uh, growth uh, in a given period of time compared to non-applied field. And it gives good yield and it uh, retains moisture for a longer period of time. Which also means drought resistance or response to climate change. Yes, yes very, very uh, good thing. Instruction courses for the farmers pass on the research findings. The center has been promoting biochar for two years. About 5,000 farmers here have learned how to use the new fertilizer, and they even produce it from agricultural waste. If the practice spreads to more of India's millions of farms, it would greatly reduce emissions of carbon dioxide. It's trapped. Uh, almost like 50% uh, of the carbon that was originally present in the biomass is trapped as carbon and being locked up in the soil. And while it's being locked up in the soil, instead of creating a problem, it's going to be a great advantage. In fact, it's helping in combating the climate stress. SCAD has been promoting biochar in 500 villages. For decades, the group's founder, a former Catholic priest, has been fighting poverty in the rural communities of southern India and, more recently, the effects of climate change. In future, we are going to suffer. So if, if you see all these children, we'll have a better future if we take care of the climate. Climate or the world will take care of the people. That's the reason why we, I want to work for the climate change also, because that is very vital for the human society.
the organization has its own training workshops and has launched a new biochar project. It's a new stove that Professor Ravi Kumar developed. It's simple to build, and while in use, it produces the valuable soil enhancer as a byproduct. SCAD wants to introduce the stoves into 25,000 rural households. Here, it's already in use. It's filled with biomass, in this case, sawdust. That means it needs only half as much of the costly wood a normal stove here burns. Another advantage, the stove produces less harmful smoke. After the meal, the biochar created in the process can be used as fertilizer. That way India can show the way to the world. India is basically an agrarian country and being in the tropics, the biological productivity is very high. The challenge is to make very efficient use of it. Reforestation programs are another example of the use of biochar. SCAD's volunteers planted 150,000 saplings last year and they're now growing strong thanks to biochar, the natural soil enhancer that helps store water too.